A common assertion is that the Russian invasion of Ukraine has fundamentally changed Europe and is giving birth to a different kind of European order. Leaders and writers commonly compare the current moment with the inflection points of 1945 and 1989. However, this emerging process of European reordering is still under-conceptualized. My new book takes a step back from the day-to-day -day challenges of the war and argues that the underlying process of European reordering can best be described as geo-liberal. This new analytical concept captures the way in which European policies are moving to fuse together real politic with liberal principle. Geoliberalism is becoming the common strategic organizing principle running like a thread through the different policy changes underway since early 2022. However, this emerging process of geoliberal reordering is still only faintly visible. For now, European governments are in short-term crisis mode and the flurry of policy change has yet to translate into a coherent, long-term vision for a redesign of European order. For now, Europe appears stuck in an in-between period, its old organizing principles no longer fit for purpose, but governments not yet fully committed to a redesign of the European order. This matters because while this long-term strategic vision is lacking, the day-to-day -day debates about whether European governments are doing enough to help Ukraine on the ground will not have the kind of strategic anchoring and orientation they need to succeed.